some of you may have been hearing of a channel causing a stir recently, a channel called So So Young. And if you haven't, here's a quick rundown. Uh, so So Young's channel is known for Mukbang, which is an audiovisual broadcast in which the host consumes large quantities of food whilst interacting with its audience. She doesn't consume just anything. She specialises in eating live animals. In one scene, she rips the mantle off of a squid, whilst in another, she comedically runs away from a shark and is left to asphyxiate on the kitchen floor. On occasion, she will kill these animals before consumption, but her methods are far from humane, and her skills are far from expert. So, why exactly is this a problem? Aren't they just dumb fish? Why does this matter? They don't feel pain the same way we do. This unfortunately widespread belief couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, it's been held in scientific circles that fish can feel pain much in the same way as we do. But not just fish. Cephalopods and crustaceans have much more complex feelings of pain and stress than once thought. Despite this, most countries around the world still carry out outdated practices. Even the United States still boils lobsters alive, displaying that this is a worldwide problem and that we in the West aren't free of cruelty in the name of culinary experience. In the United Kingdom, the Animal Welfare Act is one of the few pieces of legislation that actually protects these animals from unnecessary suffering. The key term there being unnecessary suffering. So animals, even destined for the dinner table, are to be treated with respect and dispatched in the most humane way possible. Well, what about her culture? Who are we Westerners to tell her to stop and what's wrong and what's right? Well, I can't speak for everyone, but I believe that tradition for tradition's sake is a terrible excuse for continuation. Here in England, it is tradition to hunt red foxes on horseback with a hundred hounds tearing the animal apart whilst it's still alive. In Spain, Bulls are stabbed and taunted by matadors in the name of entertainment. And in the Amazon, Congo, and all the way through to New Zealand, people around the world have practiced ritualistic cannibalism. All of these things come under the banner of tradition, and all of these things come at the expense of another being's suffering. Fortunately, the vast majority of the British public is against fox hunting, and for the moment it is banned, though some illegal hunts are still carried out. In a similar trend, bullfighting is becoming a lot less popular, especially with younger generations. And, as I'm sure everyone is grateful for, cannibalism is globally outlawed for obvious reasons. The point I'm getting at is that tradition and culture are not a valid excuse for cruelty, regardless of location. My personal belief is that we should adhere to the science and disallow any type of animal abuse on the website. This would also include content that many Western viewers wouldn't think twice about, such as feeding videos where mice and fish are fed alive to other animals. Logically, if we were to get rid of one, it would be hypocritical not to ban the other. And please don't use its nature as an excuse to feed frogs to your piranha, Larry. Have you seen an aquarium in the wild? I don't think you have. In short, YouTube. This is animal cruelty, plain and simple, and it needs to be banned. Sort yourself out. Thanks for watching, and remember, in a world this big, there's always some idiot trying to deep throat something they shouldn't. Bye!